talk briefly, since Angela captured what's happening in our school about this issue of fear since we're in our church. This issue of fear. And I want you to all imagine for a second what is your greatest fear in your lives. Besides, of course, losing the people closest to you. And for me, that was not being able to teach. And my fear came true this past Friday. Five minutes after my last class, I was escorted by security from a school I helped found, from a system I worked in for 12 years, that I have a master's degree in, accreditation IB, AP, two different APs, reading specialist certificate, as a escorted by security to the principal's office. The principal gave me a letter, it was one paragraph long, and she said, your position has been closed for economic reasons. If anybody doesn't know, there's only three English teachers, and two of them are up here. The other one's on maternity leave, and the new principal hired a first-year teacher to be her TAT. So basically, she wiped out an entire English department at Social Justice High School, which just saw the largest reading in English game in our school's history. We doubled our results. And what happened to those teachers? They didn't submit. This is what's going on in the Catholic Church schools. We are not alone. We are not a story that's just singular to social justice. As soon as I told people about my dismissal, I started hearing from people all around Chicago about how their position had been closed or redefined or they now had to have triple certification to teach. And there was one thing really that rung out is these people who are talking were also really strong union activists. Really strong union activists. And so, you know, we may not be able to connect the dots right now, but I think we know who the puppet master is hiding behind all this redefinition because it certainly not, doesn't help kids to take Angela and myself out of our classes with between us 20 years of experience and replace us with day-to-day -day substitutes who don't know where it is. Don't know the community. And if we didn't have a union, you wouldn't be hearing our story because the only reason we are up here is because the Chicago Teachers Union continues to fight for us even after we're here. Because a lot of us 